This video compares the standard algorithm method to the partial quotient method of division. In our standard algorithm method, we want to find the largest group of three that can be taken from seven, our first digit in the dividend. Using my multiplication facts, I know that two groups of three is the largest product that can be subtracted from seven. On the partial quotient side, I'm asking the question, how many groups of three can be taken from 700? And we find that 200 groups of three is the largest amount of groups that can be taken from 700 without going over. 200 groups of three is essentially 200 times three, and that would be 600. Just like two times three on the standard algorithm side is six. Both methods show that division is the process of repeated subtraction. On the standard algorithm side, you're using basic facts, but on the partial quotient side, you're using multiples of 10. The standard algorithm tells us to bring down the next number in the dividend, which is essentially making another dividend to divide from. Now we need to find how many groups of three can be taken from 13 without going over. Using my math facts, I know that four groups of three is the largest value I can take from 13. Similarly, I know the largest group of three I can take from 136 is 40. 40 groups of three is 120, and 120 can be subtracted from 136 without going over. The standard algorithm tells us to pull down the next digit in the dividend, which gives us 16, another dividend to divide from. At this point, both methods have the same dividend that they're taking groups of three from. We can use basic division facts to find how many groups of three we can take from 16. We can take five groups of three from 16, leaving us with one left over after we subtract. methods leave us with a remainder of 1 and a total quotient of 245. 